Hi, my name is Tim McKernan. I work at Fronius International in R&D, and I was a member of the Fronius SIMO project. Today I'd like to explain the proper installation techniques of the Fronius SIMO inverter. Inverters, like other power electronic devices, should not be installed in direct sunlight whenever possible. To ensure maximum inverter output in warm climates, Fronius recommends installation of shade covers, which can be sourced from most racking manufacturers. During the installation process, make sure the inverter is not left in a dirty area and cannot get wet. Use a T25 Torx driver to remove the four screws on the DATCOM cover. Release the two securing screws that hold the inverter to the mounting bracket. The inverter can be released from the mounting bracket when the DC disconnect switch is in the off position. Check that the metal tab for the disconnect is not out of alignment. It is recommended to drill out the knockouts rather than using a hammer. Make sure the grounding bushings do not obstruct the inverter from closing. In case you enter with cables from the left side, make sure they are underneath the shaft of the DC disconnect. There are two variations of input terminal blocks. One comes with the option to place fuses for all inputs of DC plus and DC minus. The other is a direct pass-through. The fuse holder has an open and closed side. When installing on the fuse print, make sure the side with the opening lines up with the white standoff. Tighten the screw terminals with a torque of 1.3 foot-pounds. After all the cables are installed, don't forget to tighten down the strain relief. Properly seal the conduits with putty and ensure that the cables are covered. Sealed conduits will keep moisture out of the inverter. Make sure that there is nothing that will prevent the inverter from swinging and mating with the mounting bracket. Take special care that your conductors or communication wires do not prevent or block the inverter from closing and properly seating to the mounting bracket. Tighten down both securing screws using your adjustable torque driver set to 1.8 foot-pounds. Check that the seal on the DATCOM cover is in good shape. Install the DATCOM cover by snapping the two smaller tabs on the bottom and then the large one in the top in the center. Tighten down the DATCOM cover screws using your adjustable torque driver set to 1.8 foot-pounds. It is not permitted to use an electric drill gun to install the DATCOM cover. Press firmly in the middle at the top to verify the DATCOM cover has snapped into place. Run a finger over the seam as a final check of proper height. Don't leave the inverter open overnight or for long periods of time. Before leaving the job site, always give the inverter one last check to make sure it cannot move and is fixed properly to the mount, correctly sealed, and the DC disconnect switch is left in the on position.